Our next guest says that we can find edible plant life in our backyard. The urban nature man himself, Matt Yeager, is here. And he welcome. said, yes, so welcome. Welcome to welcome the show. Matt. Welcome, Matt. Thank you very much. I am loving your garden right here, but I think you're going to be amazed when you see what I found in your backyard on the hill here, all growing naturally and wild. I okay, know. I just want to point something out for the viewers who've actually been watching our show regularly. Be careful where you get that because my dog Fred has been known to roam those weeds up there and tinkle. Just for so two you minutes. know. When Not you pick, yet. you always want to make sure you're above waist high. Otherwise, it's what I call the P zone. Oh, so stay okay. up high and you'll be okay. Okay, we'll right. make sure that that's the case. We yeah. want to take a look at your show. Let's take a little, let's look Sounds at good. your show. Okay. All right, do you see how the sun, you can't see it anymore? Yeah. That means we've got about 20 more minutes before it's actually dark, dark. We're going to have to build a shelter here on the trail and spend the night and then hike out tomorrow morning. For reals? For reals. Oh, God. Ah! We're going to make a little shelter, put the emergency blanket over. It'll keep us nice and warm inside. And if you get cold, I'll even cuddle you. Are we going to die from cougars and stuff? What, old women in nightclubs? Probably not. <laughs> you know what? I would so love to do that. No, but I, I want to challenge like you. Maybe, MacGyver. maybe you know, in a few months we can go out and actually spend the night out doing in it. The, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. See how Absolutely. we survive. We're gonna be down for that. Are you kidding? Come yeah. On. Let's you're, do it. Matt, well, you're making for us something in the backyard, and you're gonna come to the house and, and make what? Look at that. We're making wild buckwheat pancakes with elderberry sauce. Oh. That's from, from our, backyard. our backyard. From your backyard. Wow. Back to the counter, we are here with the urban nature man himself, Matt Jagger, and he has ventured into our backyard. He has found something back there, I don't believe you found back there, that we can make and eat. It's very tasty, it's edible treats growing naturally Absolutely. in the environment back mm -hmm. there. Not the garden. Not, the, not garden. the garden. All by you itself, away from the garden. up on the hill. Okay. Yeah. What naturally grows here in the And I just asked him. not touch his plantings. No, but I just asked him, you know me, I like to taste everything. I went to go and I said, can I eat this? He said, no, it has, what is it? Cyanide. Cyanide in it. He told These me not to eat it. These berries have cyanide when they're raw. And yeah. So, yeah, so uh, but once they're up. cooked, then they're safe to oh, eat. So See, that's what's wrong. about nature. Yeah. It's not natural. Okay, well, you know what? We'll find out. How did you get interested in reconnecting with nature in the first place? I was raised in a small town in Wisconsin called Delafield, and I grew across street from a farm, from a state park. We had a local pond nearby. I had wild apple trees in my yard. So when I moved to the city, I, I first off, I love being able to order Indian takeout at midnight, but I miss a lot of that outdoors. And uh, like you were talking about with your round table, for me, I find my peace and my relaxation by going outside and experiencing nature. So I wanted to start doing that. I started out rock climbing, then, um, then I started foraging, and then now it's Camping, hiking, so all kinds of stuff. What adventures do you get into in uh, your urban nature man? Oh, well, we. <laughs> you guys well, you yeah. Suit the yeah. 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 Urban nature you see, man. <laughs> you saw it in the beginning with our friend J Row, where we took him out and spent the night. We have a whole episode that actually teaches you how to um, relieve yourself responsibly. We were just in Chile. We were hiking on a smoking volcano. We hiked up to a glacier in the Andes. <laughs> we <laughs> all right. Well, okay. All right. Well, you know, we have wild el eld elderberry. Elderberry. Wild elderberry. Elderberries, elderberries. Is, and elderberries. You're gonna, you helped discover that today, which we have back mm -hmm. there. So let's take a look at what we actually found in our own backyard. You guys have a ton of wild edibles back here. Our first one is actually one of our pancake ingredients. It's called toyon or Christmas berry. In the summer, it gets these white flowers, and then between Thanksgiving and Christmas, they turn bright red. That's why they're called Christmas berry. They're also known as California holly, and that's how Hollywood got its name, was these berries. It was known as Hollywood land. Right down here, we have another ingredient for our pancakes. This is known as elderberry. Now this is what the blossom looks like and I actually dry these and grind them up. They're going to be in the pancakes we're eating. And then down here we have what the berries look like. This is what we're going to be making our syrup out of. And these have more vitamin C than almost any other plant in nature and they taste amazing. This next plant is really interesting. This is known as Western Black Nightshade. Now everybody knows nightshade is poisonous and it's true. You can't eat the leaves, you cannot eat the flowers. Even these little green berries here are toxic. But once they turn black, they are edible and taste just like tomatoes. You can also rub them on any scrapes you might have and it'll create like a second skin and actually help the wound heal. Now the last one we're looking for is wild California buckwheat. In the summer, they have these nice white blossoms, but in the fall, it turns this even more beautiful rust color. And once that happens, all you have to do is just rub your thumb over it and it just falls into your hand very nicely. Once it does that, you can just grind it in a coffee grinder and you have your flour. I, I, that's just amazing to me. That's yeah. so great. 
I have to say real quick, if you're going to go foraging, you always have to know what you're picking. Right. I have a friend who thought he was eating wild carrot. It was actually hemlock. Luckily, he spit it out. Hemlock. Also, there are different laws depending on what you're going to pick. So make sure you know that you're doing it responsibly. All right. Now, for you, Mark, and anyone else who wants, I have some nightshade berries if you want to munch on them while we work. No, on no, the no, wait. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Should we wait? Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, those well, are safe. Those okay, are safe. Okay, those okay. are safe. Those We're going to go to commercial. We're going to be right back. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to lose my partner over there. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. We're going to be making Here, Murray, the Here, Murray, try that. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. This is very, very good syrup made with the elderberry. Okay. All right. Elderberry syrup. Can I try these real so quick? I just yeah, want to yeah, do. Jump in and grab them. Here we go. Anybody else want to dig in? No, I'll let you no, go I'll watch you. I'll yeah. see how you react. Okay. There you go. Oh. It's like, are they, yeah. Okay. See, he didn't fall over. <laughs> right. All right, so, so what for we... making the syrup, what you do first is you're going to take your berries and you're going to put them in a blender or a food processor and get them nice and uh, pureed, basically, yeah. blended. And we're just going to put that in our pot. And Matt, this is safe. We can't eat this. That, that you can absolutely yeah. eat okay. that. That's Digging fine. Guys, what do you taste? I already then, snuck and tasted it. It's delicious. <laughs> and then you're going to add your sugar just like this. I don't like as much sugar. Uh, my girlfriend loves a lot of sugar, so mm -hmm. we're going to do You could use agave I like syrup, it. I bet. You could absolutely yeah. use agave syrup. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, has a th uh, half the sugar of maple syrup. Maple syrup naturally comes as about two thirds sugar. This is about a third sugar, my recipe. Elderberries themselves are only about 10% sugar. Oh, that's so, right. For you, Samantha. I was That's for you. Keep your metabolism <laughs> even. Exactly. Mm. Your oh. lemon. Little lemon juice, little pectin. Pectin. And there's then the pectin there's again. There's the pectin. Mm -hmm. Hold on, twice in one show. And then you throw it on here. Oh, no. And all you do is you stir it until it begins to boil, and you have your syrup ready to go. And then you got to make. Is this what it looks like when it's? And this is what it looks like when it's done. Thank you. Get a, yeah, Chris, a little yeah. shot up there. You have the shot up yeah. there. The... Okay. Right. So how do we make the pancake batter? We'll get now that for later. the pancakes. <laughs> I'm going to need your help for this one. Okay, I'm going to help you. So if you could take all these dry ingredients, we okay. have regular flour, whole wheat flour. Regular and whole wheat flour. And then we get our fun stuff. This is the wild buckwheat. Which well, can we get a shot so everybody can see what that we looks like? We got the like wild buckwheat here. That's here. and this has just mm. been ground in a coffee grinder on the okay. finest setting. All right. I'll put that in for you. And all the next right, thank one you. Is this is the Toyana, the Christmas berry. You just pick the berries, dry them, and then same thing, coffee grinder on the finest setting. And same with the elderflower. Pick them, that. dry them. Finest setting on your coffee I grinder. I'm learning all of these new things from my coffee grinder. I know, it's yeah. amazing. I didn't even oh, know. Run rice through it, otherwise it's go, everything will taste like coffee. So mix that uh, up. Oh. Ooh. I'm going, oh, and oh, don't forget good. baking soda. Baking otherwise soda. Otherwise they just don't, you know, raise yeah. up. All right. Then we throw in our I eggs you don't, and milk. Eggs and milk. I noticed you don't put any salt in here. No, I'm okay. not a salt guy. Okay. Which uh, I get a hard time from Urban Nature Gal. She loves her salt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're going to alternate. Just pour a little of the flour in while I pour the milk. All right. A little bit of the flour in uh -huh. here. All right. Do you need a spatula or something? Yeah, one of us should probably be mixing okay. while we do All that. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. There we go. And. And. <laughs> okay, can I put the rest in? Go ahead. Drop okay. it all in. Oops. And so you'll mix that up, and then you will end up with this, which is the oh, final batter. batter. And you can get all these in-depth instructions on the website, urbannatureman.com. So then you just get a skillet on medium heat, get mm. a little oil in there, and let me take that. And you make it like, oh, nice and thick, like, like regular that. pancakes. Yes, I like big, fluffy, but also hearty pancakes. That's how I got started making these. I like whole wheat, lots of grains. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can appreciate I that. I do, so. I appreciate <laughs> it very much. And, I to, oh, yep, and that. if you're going to do it, you have Good. to have the piece de resistance. What is that? Oh, wait, 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 I'm going to put this over here so everybody can see it. You know what? I here. don't think we need the spoon. Oh. I think we should just yeah. dump oh, it on there. Oh, there we go. There Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. oh, that okay. is it's really very good. These are really the pancake good. recipe, the elderberry <laughs> sauce recipe, as well as other recipes we have on. You can see us, all our episodes, and also I do a weekly blog of all my exploits on UrbanNatureMan.com. Check it out. Oh, that's awesome. delicious. This is so good. Mm -hmm. yeah,